Sagittarius energy. So I'm going to be talking about Sagittarius and, you know, what I see from them when I, you know, interact with them or when they interact with other people. So mutable fire ruled by Jupiter. So as might as one might know already, Sagittarius is known for you know their ability to speak straight from the heart. Uh you know, look for new knowledge, new things that you know other people might not be privy to as well as uh, travel and individuality. So they kind of have something in, you know, something similar to an uh, energy similar to Aquarius where they need that freedom in order to, you know, test whether their theories that they came up with are right. Their philosophy to see if their philosophy really is right. And they'll also just like Aquarius test this in real life. So they don't need to be held back by somebody who is, you know, who might be a little more conservative in a certain way, especially in that way that they're trying to expand in. Think about a fire. Fire, they need, they don't need to be suffocated. They don't need to be in a small space. Because a lot of times, um, it's going to go out if it doesn't have enough room to grow. If it doesn't have enough air to to spread out and, you know, do what fire does. So this is why they like change. This is why they like doing different shit. That other people, you know, may not understand because maybe they have more of a fixed nature or um, a yin nature or something else, you know, something different other than the Sag. So they share a planet with, uh, with Pisces, which is Jupiter. So a lot of times they... If they meet a Pisces and talk to them, there will be like a compatibility there in a lot of cases just because um, that energy of Jupiter, you know, it resonates like you could feel an understanding, you know what I'm saying? One is the masculine side, which is Sagittarius, the masculine side of uh, Jupiter. Pisces is the feminine sign. So that's gonna they're gonna attract because they're opposites in the same at the exact same time. Opposites as far as being two different um energies as far as feminine and masculine, but at the same time have the same Jupiter energy that allows them to understand the bigger picture together. Now, don't get me wrong, Sagittarius and Pisces can also, um, they can probably be enemies too, or the worst of enemies too, because sometimes like energies, um, they, they can repel each other if they're too much alike, or if they're too different, sometimes they can repel each other. If they look at him and be like, okay, this person thinks the exact same way as me, but yet their actions do something else and it pisses you off, you have to understand, you know, the reason and why and not just get mad at that shit. For sure. So on, uh, uh, so as far as opposites go or oppositions, Gemini opposes uh, Sagittarius, you know, on a solar chart. So, meaning 
it's also going to be an instance where Geminis and Sagittarius will really get along again because uh, they are they do draw from each other at, at certain times. Geminis can be straightforward, you know what I'm saying? Especially if they're hanging around with a Sag, they can be a lot more straightforward um, because that is within their their energy they can draw that out same as a Sagittarius a Sagittarius can talk your ear off just like a Gemini they can be just as social as a Gemini and uh, use certain words to flatter you and make you move a certain way that you probably wouldn't have you know if it was somebody else talking so yeah Sag can extract that part from Gemini's that's why you'll see a lot of Sagittarius and Gemini's hang out or be a couple. But, get, but again, it's like the, the Pisces thing. Sometimes you could be too much alike or sometimes somebody can know you too well and they could be like, OK, I'm good. I need somebody that, you know, <laughs> I need somebody else other than the Gemini if you're a Sag and vice versa. So they can be the best of friends or they can be enemies just because they know each other so well. Yeah, but yeah, that's my take on Sagittarius. Next, I'm doing Scorpio. You feel me? So like the videos, subscribe if you're interested. You feel me? Uh, yeah, hit me up.